But all right, we got about 30 seconds here. I'm gonna go ahead and just start doing some backward arm circles while we're waiting for a couple more folks to hop on. Love the arm circles. Two little ones. I'm gonna do a lot of stuff by my wall today. Yeah, as you can see me over here, right? Yeah, hopefully. Oh, good deal. All right. Now let's start swinging forward. Got a really good warm up today. All right, let's start doing again some arm circles, start getting a little bit warmer. Get the body moving a little bit. All right, let's go backwards with those, make them a little bit bigger. So for those of you that just hopped on, I just posted my uh, YouTube link in the chat. Um, all of these workouts are posted there within, I would say, 12 hours or less, if I can help it. All right, a little bit back and forth, swing your arms. And get that upper body nice and loose. Ooh, that feels good. All right, I'm gonna come over by my wall just for a little bit of balance. And we're gonna do some backward lunges. You knew these were coming, right? We're just gonna alternate. And the idea right now is just kind of opening up your hips. We'll get a little more crazy with these in a minute, but alternating backward lunge. And as you do that, if you can, start bringing your arms up over your head. If you need some balance, that's okay. Really squeeze the glute of the leg going back. Try to feel a good stretch in there. Let's do two more of those on each side. Nice big reach and stretch. All right. I just want to get those hips moving. And I'm going to stay in a slightly squatted position. And we're going to do the wide. Thumbs facing backwards, right? Okay. T and I. Okay, let's do a little series of those and then we're gonna do a couple deep squats. Back, back, up for the Y, thumbs toward the ceiling, arms out to the side, and back. Let's do three more of those in each direction. One, one, one. Two, you can really start feeling those back muscles loosening up. Three, and then last one there. Three, and three. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and face you. Let's go back into this position. And you're gonna try to squat down as low as you can, keeping your arms up, thumbs facing behind you. Okay, hold that there for just a second. And then go ahead and grab your feet. Pushing on the inside of your knees. You're gonna rock back and forth just a little bit. Perfect. Okay, and then stand it up, roll up, feel that stretch in your hamstrings. All the way up, hands up towards the ceiling again. This time face your palms away from you. And deep squat again. Trying to keep your arms as close to your ears as possible. Feel that pull in your back. And come on down and grab your toes. Once again, pushing out against the inside of your legs. Little rock back and forth. Good, and then stand it back up. Nice. All right, we're gonna do some lateral walks. If anybody has one of these things, you can use it. If you don't have one of these things, that's totally fine. Um, if you do, you can put it around your ankles. If you don't have one, again, don't worry about it. But what I'm gonna do here is staying in this position, I'm gonna do some big side steps, keeping some tension on that band. Again, if you don't have one, don't worry about it. Still follow along with me. We're doing lateral squat walks keeping those shoulder blade muscles active. I'm just gonna go back and forth here a couple times. 
This is an athletic stance. Cool. Good. Back this way. Keeping your toes facing forward. Shoulder blades nice and tight. All right, last time this way. Awesome. All right. Now, if you did have the band on, you can go ahead and take the band off. I'm going to come over against the wall again, grab a weight, whatever weight you're comfortable with. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to do some hip hinges. I'm going to come over here just for balance. <clears throat> Excuse me. The weight is going to stay in front of me. I'm going to hinge forward at my hip, trying to keep my body in a straight line and stand straight up. If you don't need to use something for balance, that's great. If you do, just like two fingers on a chair, on a wall, or whatever. You're trying to keep your body in a nice straight line. The leg that's on the ground stays. You can keep a slight bend in it. Don't lock it. Okay, let's do three more of those. Nice, we're like the body birds. Two. And last one on this side. And I'm gonna turn around. You should really feel your, your glutes and the back of your hamstrings with that. Okay, so I'm going on the other side. If you have a kettlebell or a larger weight, that works great. You can even do this with like a laundry detergent bottle or all sorts of different household things. Try to keep your leg in a straight line with your body as much as you can. Just hinging at that hip. Cool. Let's get three more of these. Awesome. Last one. Oh yeah. All right, now keeping your weight, this is gonna be slightly different. I'm gonna stay near the wall just in case for balance. You're gonna start with one foot up in the air, holding onto your weight like this with both hands or whatever household object you have. And then I'm gonna go into a squat and reach backwards, come back up. Go into a single leg squat, reaching backwards. It's slightly different than our hip hinge. I'm letting my elbow kind of slide on the wall just to help with balance. Reach that weight, squat down, bring it back up. Let's do three more on this side. Today is all about strength and muscular endurance. Yesterday afternoon was all about cardio and intervals. Whew. All right, let's switch legs. Okay, and I'm just keeping my elbow by the wall. So leg up, reach, you're squatting down, reaching that leg behind you. As you stand up, you should really be pushing through your heel, even though your whole foot stays on the ground. And when you do that, you should really feel your glute muscles activating to stand up. Okay, let's get three more of those. And last one. Nobody's cold anymore, right? Hopefully not. <laughs> All right, we're going to hit the floor. I'm taking some small weights. You can do this with weights or without weights. This is going to be our push up to side plank. Now, if you're not able to do a push up, then don't. That's okay. You can go just from the plank into the side plank. If you're able, we're going to do a push up. Take your weight, come to the side. Nice and controlled on the way back down. Again, if you can't do the push up, just come to the middle. Nice and controlled on the way back down. So if you can't do the push up, just stop right here. Pause for a moment and go into the side plank. I find that doing push ups with the dumbbell.
dumbbells actually makes it a little easier on your wrists. Gives you something to hold on to. It's not as much stress. Okay, come down nice and controlled. Push up in the middle or no push up if the push up is a little too challenging. Down. Push up. Nice. Let's get three more of those to each side. Down. Push it up. Rotate. Nice and controlled on the way down. Don't come crashing down. Here's two. Nice. I might have to give up on the push up here in the middle in a second. If my dog's going to come help me out, she'll be a good prop. <laughs> Side. Nice and controlled. Good. Last one to this side. Hi, Pumpkin. Are you going to help me? Okay, good job. All right. Now, from here, put your weights down. We're staying in this plank position, and we're going to do some walkouts with your hands. You're going to go side, side, bring it back in. Side, side, come back in. You should really feel your stomach muscles activating when you do that. Side, side, back in. If that is too challenging, do it on your knees. That will also be a good challenge. As long as you keep your body in a nice straight line, either way is fine. Okay, let's get two more of those. Last one. Woo. And walk your feet up to your hands. And then walk your hands back. Come on up. And again, grab a weight or anything. It doesn't have to be a weight, but I'm going to do one dumbbell. You can grab a water jug. You can grab your kid. No, just kidding. Don't grab your kid. <laughs> Feet nice and wide. And what we're doing is a squat and reach. So we kind of did this in the warm up, but without weight. Okay, so grab a weight that's going to be pretty challenging for you as you reach it over your head. Good, let's get 10 more of these. Reach your chest as you stand and reach it over your head as you squat down. Nice. Woo, looking good. Let's get five more of those. Awesome. Last one. All right. Now, go ahead and grab whatever weight is going to be challenging for you. And we're going to go into a one arm row in a lunge position. If you don't need something to hang on to, that's great. You can just hold on to your, your leg. You can use a chair for balance. We're going to be pulling on the same side as the leg that's back. And as you pull, I want you to hold it for a second. Come down nice and slow. If you have a kettlebell, you can use a kettlebell. Good. Up and breathe. Hold. Balance if you need it. Don't worry about it if you don't. Pull up and hold. Nice. Down nice and slow. Good, let's get five more on this side. Whew. Trying to keep your body in a nice straight line. Awesome. Whew. Last one. Good, come on up, switch sides. So we're getting that lunge position. Use something for balance if you need it. Not if you don't. Good, and pull up and hold. We're going to try to do 12 total, so we got 10 more. Trying to keep that body in a straight line. Woo! Awesome. Let's get five more, nice and controlled. Awesome. 
Awesome. Keep going. Three more. All right, last one. Good. Now, if you have weights, grab another heavy one. We're going to hit the floor before we repeat a couple things. So we're going to go ahead and do a chest press in our glute bridge position to start with. Okay, so your butt is up in the air. Arms are out. You're going to let your elbows come slowly down. Touch the floor, come straight back up. Okay, pushing through your heels. You should feel your glute muscles are active. Lower gently to the floor and straight back up. Really important to make sure that the dumbbells are in line with your chest. You don't want them over your face. If anything, aim them a little closer towards your belly button and you'll feel a big change in the muscle recruitment there. Okay, but your butt muscles should be working just as hard as your chest muscles are. So let's get five more of those. Two, good, keep squeezing those butt cheeks. Three, four, last one coming up. Five, now take your weights. Set them on your hips. We're gonna go up and down, holding your weights on your hips. If it's more comfortable, you can set one down and just do one. But we're going up and down with that weight on your hips. Should add a little element of challenge there. Now that you're busted and tired, so it's been up in the air. Good, okay, let's get three more of those. One. Two and three. All right, go ahead and set that down. And we are going to flip straight over and go back to the push up with the side plank. So, again, you can use the weights if you want to. You don't have to. Okay, so let's get ourselves positioned. Push up position. Here we go down. And then up to the side, eyes follow your hands, nice and controlled on the way back down. Push up in the middle, up to the side plank. Again, you can do it on your knees, that's perfectly fine. Or if the push up is too much, just come to the middle and then go back into that side plank. Nice and controlled on the way down. Eyes follow your hands. Great core and stability exercise. Nice big reach. All right, guys, let's add to this one. We're going to get three more on each side. At least that's the goal. Down nice and controlled. Don't flop down. There's one. Down with control. And again, down with control. Here's two. Again, if that push up is just getting to be too much, come just to the middle. Don't do the push up. Back to the side. And last one. Last one on the other side. All right, nice and controlled on the way back down. Just move your weights out of the way. And we're gonna do those side reaches. So we're going out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. As you do that, you should really feel those chunk muscles stabilizing. If you start feeling your lower back, raise your hips up just a little bit. You shouldn't really be feeling that. All right, let's get three more of those in each direction. Last one. Woo. 
All right, walk your hands up, or walk your feet up, I'm sorry. And then walk your hands towards your feet. Stand up nice and slow. Grab a single weight. We're doing that squat to overhead press. Okay, so feet nice and wide. You're gonna hold the weight to your chest. Deep squat, reach it forward. Bring it back to your chest. Deep squat, reach it forward. Bring it back. Let's get 10 more. Two. Nice. Three. Really push through your heels when you stand up. Woo, let's get five more. Try to reach those arms as straight as you can. Sometimes my count is off. One more. Won't hurt us too much, hopefully. All right, grab a heavier weight. And we are going back to that single arm row in the lunge position. Okay, so again, use something for balance if you need it. Not if you don't. Try to keep your back nice and flat. Okay, let's try to get 12 of these on each side. If you're just holding in that plank or that lunge, you should feel your legs doing some good work while they're holding you. Nice hold on the shoulder blade when you pull back. Nice and controlled. Now I totally lost count. I'm sorry. We're just going to do three more because that sounds good. One. Now with control, two, and last one. Hold for a second, and let's switch to the other side. All right, so other leg comes back. Try and keep your body in a nice straight line. And we're gonna try to do 12. Squeeze and hold that shoulder leg. Good, hang in there, trying to keep your body straight. I know your legs are working, especially if you're not holding on to anything. All right, let's get three more. If my count's ever off, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes my multitasking skills are not as good as they should be. Woo. All right, last one. Grab both of your weights and let's hit the floor. Do that chest press and the glute bridge. And then we'll do the weighted glute bridges. All right, so butt in the air. You're pushing through your heels. And let's try to get 12, 12 to 15. If you're going a little faster than me, that's okay. But I always like to go with control for this kind of an exercise. Our Tuesday afternoons will be explosive. These ones, not so much. Friday will be kind of explosive too, actually. The workout of the day on Friday. And make sure you're squeezing your butt cheeks. All right. Actually, the nice thing about doing these on the floor is you're a good end point, so you won't ever hurt yourself. All right, let's do three more of those. All right, last one. And again, either one weight or two, put it on your hips. And we're gonna go up and down, squeezing those glutes together. Awesome. Let's get five more. I don't know about you guys, my butt's talking to me. <laughs> All right, last one. Nice hold. Set that weight down. Woo! Holy smokes. Just like that, it is 1229. I know some of you have to jump, but before you do, 
Let's do a quick hip flexor stretch. I was thinking about doing another set of squats, but our time flies when we're having fun. Reach that same arm up in the air as the leg gets back. Squeeze your glute. Bring that front leg straight, toes up. Reach, get a good stretch in the back of that hamstring. Nice, and switch sides. <clears throat> Woo, really squeeze that left cheek. Raise the same arm up in the air. Hope you're getting a good stretch in the front of that thigh. Some of the muscle groups that get super tight after sitting. Good, come up nice and tall. Straighten that front leg. Gentle reach. So don't forget guys, tomorrow is full body stretch at 12.05. Friday is workout of the day, which will be much more intense. That'll be a little bit more along the lines of like a hit workout. And if you didn't have a chance to look at the newsletter yet, next week I'm starting a little program called Zen in 10. If you're interested in knowing more about that, check out the newsletter or shoot me an email. Otherwise, thank you everybody for coming. I know some of you have to jump. It's a little bit after 1230. So have a great rest of your day and I'll see everybody tomorrow. Thanks, Heidi.